so what have you found mo the most difficult aspects of the transition from sixth form school, secondary school, to being a first year and beyond medical student? Um, yeah, well, the first, like, the, the obvious one is um, doing practical work that's completely different from stuff you do in school, like the sections, which, when you do it for the first time, it's really horrific. So, hang on, um, you do a number of dissections at Kingston Grammar School, uh, like rat no, dissections. As in, um, as in, um, so, what's different? Like, a rat dissection is fine. Like, it's, yep. I mean, you look at it like, oh, it's, it's a rat. But, mm. like, even when you're not, like, mentally prepared to see a human body, right. a full human body, yeah. It's not only that, it's just the fact that the consultant is so at ease with it. Mm. And it just makes you feel so small in the sense that it's such a difficult thing because you're seeing a dead body for the first time. Yeah. And he, it's just yeah, everyone's so casual about it. And because, I don't know, it's always really hot in the room as well. I don't know why. It's quite cool, huh? Is it? Yeah. But there's so many people there. I know there's like air conditioning for the bodies and stuff, but it's so many people. Loads of people just start fainting, and it just sets up like a ripple effect. So you have that quite. Well, you have painting students quite a regular, a regular side. So of it. don't worry about fainting at all. It's like literally tons of people will faint. Really? Yeah. Like hmm. um, three people in my group went out of ten, and I try to stay strong, but I'm not gonna lie, it was difficult because you have to get really stuck in on the first dissection as well, and it's it's, it's asking a lot to start like opening up a rib cage and stuff for the first time ever. But most medical schools don't have dissection as normal anyway. Uh, like I don't, it's not in my core curriculum, it's just in my like SSC, which is on the side if you want to choose dissection. Whereas S SSC? SSC is student selected component. Right. Every like, med school has I think about three each year. And so you have to do, you can do dissection, but um, yeah, that's not core curriculum. But even like pro section, which are the cut up and you just have a poke around and have a look and stuff. That's still quite difficult. Yeah. But I think more difficult than that is seeing and just talking to patients, even if they're not like on the verge of death or something, mm -hmm. even, even if they're fine, just talking to them is quite difficult because you don't really know where to start. They're more often than they're much older than you. And mm. so just conversing on the level, they, it's, it's difficult because they've been cooped up in a hospital for I don't know how long. The last thing they want is an 18-year-old medical yeah. student just quizzing them on random things. You, you probably won't have much to do with them, perhaps, you know, in the future thereafter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, like, especially, you kind of start to realise when you go to medical school, like, that there are a lot of difficult people to deal with. And, like, yeah. that's actually reality. Like, that's not a joke. You have to really find a good way to do it. And in my case, I had to have, I had a patient who was just completely horrific to deal with and like because because i was so like i was pretty like back then this was like a year ago do, do you mean you mean grumpy or yeah, just like grumpy. he didn't want to see me he didn't know like it was you no one wants to see you. <laughs> i'm not even gonna i'm not <laughs> but anyway um yeah and um like you gotta learn how to like you gotta learn how to deal with people basically and it's just something that you don't expect out of medicine because you expect you to go and just oh yeah look at the bodies and stuff and then but not only the patients like, like chemistry you've got 300 people in this massive theater all listening to the lecture it's so difficult to excel especially because you've got like 100 or so graduates who have come into medicine after doing a bsc or a ba or something uh, like that yeah. so it's so difficult to actually be good yeah but like, for example at, in like a chemistry biology lesson, there's like i don't know five or ten of you so it's it's one thing you get more one-to-one -one interaction with the teacher, but secondly, it's easy to perform mm -hmm. because there's a less pull, there's a pull smaller. Yeah. At med school, okay, yeah, then you've got PDL, so there's only like ten or twelve of us, where you do get a really good rapport with. Just, like, a P you know, PDL. PDL. It's PDL. PDL. Yeah. yeah, that's most medical schools are gearing towards that, where they give you a scenario and you have to discuss it and then basically diagnose the patient and. Uh -huh. It's aside from lectures. Yeah. Before, like, I remember when I applied to uni, I thought I don't want to do PBL, I want to do classic style lectures and sections. But actually, after doing first year, mm -hmm. I suggest that you rethink that because I actually enjoy PBL a lot. Like, how it works is that, as Kabir said, it's more like how you're used to just sitting in a class and you have, like, not a teacher, but like, it's, it's usually a consultant or a professor who's sitting there. Yeah. And you, you tend to deal with, like, a case. That's not a real life case, but it's like, it's a person who gets ill and you don't know what's wrong with them. Yep. And you have to kind of figure out. So the way you figure out is obviously by learning how I'm and opening books, researching how. And it's actually, like, dare I say, quite a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot, there's a lot of banter because you're with these people for a long time. Like at Bart's, we've got more uh, PBL than um, Imperial. So we've got a lot of time where we're together, just that group of us. 
and so we had a lot of banter going. Also, the teacher used to buy like crispy creams for us and things like that. So yeah, we, you did have a really good time. And the exams on PBL tend to be much easier as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't know when something's easy, you do tend to put. <coughs> I don't know. You just enjoy it more anyway. It's not that challenging. No, I reckon. Yeah, sorry. Go. Uh, I reckon the reason PBL was better was because it's more like school in terms of like not exactly holding your hand, but someone there teaching you and yeah. helping you wrap up. The problem I found with lectures, and I'm not going to say we're boring because, I mean, everyone knows it already, but is that when professors come in and teach, they, they don't do it like, like a standard biology lesson where they pick out the important stuff you need to know and they give it to you and make sure you practice it. Mm -hmm. It's a guy there who's literally written like a degree level lecture mm -hmm. and it's so much information you like, mm -hmm. most of this is just impossible to learn right now, so you're not even going to learn it right there. Do they, do they publish their uh, notes yeah. on the internet so you can yeah. catch up later on? But, yeah. but I suggest, like, the mistake I did was that for the first, like, six months, I was like, nah, I'm just going to read as I go along. But the thing is, is that how they do it is that it, you have to do a lot of independent learning. Mm -hmm. So a lecture will have as much content as, like, a whole chapter from any, like, A-level book or something, yeah. which is a ton for just, like, a half an hour, 45 minute lecture. Yeah. But the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to take out the bits that are important sure. and then learn from that. Yeah. Which is difficult to do when you don't know what to learn. Basically. Well, to be honest, going from A level to uni is the academic standard that they want you to be at. I think it's easier because at KGS um, you need obviously A's and A stars to get into med school. For there, you need fifty percent pass mark. So <laughs> aut aut like, automatically, that's easier. Yeah. Also, although the volume is much greater, what they want you to learn. Actually, a lot of it is overlapping with biology, chemistry, yeah. A-level. Right. And a lot of it is like really stupid things that you don't really need to learn, like a talk, how to talk to people, yeah. um, how to, I don't know, clean your hands. But we had a lecture on how to properly clean your hands. We had like an OSCE on it, yeah. which is a clinical exam. Um, so, do, yeah. do you have like, resets? Yeah. At, at, at like university? Much, well, actually, no. The, well, the basically, with A-level, with A-level, resets work that you can you can it's your own mess up. Reason. You can mess up like January of lower six, and you can keep on retaking that exam until very end. Yeah. And with med school, it's more like if you fail, then you have about one reset, which mm -hmm. is a completely different exam. And if you fail that, you just out. Like, yeah. like there's no, there's no talk about it. And it's they say different. mitigating circumstances, but literally, your mitigating circumstances have to be epic. They literally have to be like your whole family died, or you had like a typhus or something. Like, like basically, just. Work. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't miss up, basically. Yeah, yeah because it, it's really nice to have a cushion of retake, like a KGS. You've got to be in this module and you want to bring up to an A, because it's an AS module, it's easier than the ones you're taking at A level. So you want to give yourself a better chance of getting an A overall. Mm -hmm. At med school, it doesn't matter. Even if you get 50 on the dot, they won't let you retake. And to right. be honest, you don't have the time to retake anyway. If you get 50, thank God, because yeah. at least you passed. Yeah, move on to the next one. Yeah, so the thing is, I found, as Kabir said earlier, is that. I mean, don't think that 50% is low. It's just generally because of the volume of stuff you're learning, you have to start accepting that yeah. you're probably not going to be as smart as you felt when you were in sure. yeah. like To be honest, it is easier though. It is easier. Yeah. yeah, first year medicine is easier than A-level. Yeah. It's just getting your head around two main things. One, the volume, that yes, you do have to put your head down. I didn't, like what Becca said, he put it off for six months. I didn't do that. I actually worked consistently throughout the year because I, I, my sister told me to pretty much. And, um, but I didn't do anything during the weeks, I, I did nothing, I, mean, I used to come home, that's the good thing about being in London, you can come home on Friday night, and I, for two days, solid, I just used to catch up on the week's work, and that was fine, go into Monday morning lectures, and the cycle repeats so, again. So what did you actually do if you, throughout the week if you weren't doing any work? You do nothing, you just get drunk. Right. Okay. I mean, don't forget, it's first year, you want to you wanna enjoy first year. Uh -huh. But um, uh -huh. having said that, if you're doing medicine, Mm. Like, forget about all your friends doing like history and stuff. Yeah, because they don't have anything to do. It's not like, a real degree. <laughs> it's not a real degree. <laughs> like, you've, like, um, basic with science degrees, the problem is, is that with something like an artsy degree, you have work spread out across a year. Mm -hmm. So it'll be like you do an essay and you hand it and you get a mark, you know, mm -hmm. fantastic. With a science degree, it's, it's really deceptive because you start off and it's like, there's nothing to do. All you have to do is go to lectures, that's yeah. it. Maybe do a PBL assignment every month or something stupid like that. But then, when you come to the end of it, it's you actually should have learned everything and you find there's so much that it's not like 
it's not like back in the GCSE days where you can do an all-nighter and somehow get an A-star. Mm -hmm. Like, there is no way, like, even a week is not enough time. Like, you probably have to absorb this stuff. It's kind of like, I found that A-level biology helped a lot, because A-level yeah. biology was the same thing. It's basically just learn everything in the textbook. you got to learn a whole lot of information. Not only that, just A-level biology, your knowledge of A-level biology with a little bit of lectures, stuff thrown in will get you 50%. Yeah. Like if you learn everything in the lecture, then yeah, you'll do well. Yeah. But at the moment, you're aiming for 50%. Is there, a, is there a trend for the lecturer, the professor that you've got lecturing, uh, to write their exams based on what they've been lecturing you? So you've got to learn what it is that they're going to target. Is there any of that? Not really. Not really. Because it, it could, our exams are either on lecture, like based on lecture, but they can be based on PBLs, right. they can be based on your um, exposure, yeah. like, like clinical exposure that right. you've had. So it's very broad. Yeah, it's very broad. Not only that, it's, you can I've had so many experience in questions, like we have ICAs, which are in-course assessments, which you don't have to pass, but it, um, they all add up for Section A, which you have to get 50% overall, and that's also your MedSoc, which is your Medicine Society, where it's GP every week, and um, PBL grades, and that all adds up to Section A, where you have to get 50%. Right. But in those exams, and in some exams at the end of the year, there were questions which I just looked at and I thought, I have no clue, I've never even looked yeah. at this before, I've never had... I've never been taught this, mm -hmm. but and so they might mention it as the last slide where uh, okay. read page twenty eight or something right. in this book, and right. no one does it. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I mean, like that's what I was saying about independent learning. And uh, I remember beginning of a year, we did this with Kabir as well. They gave us like a list of books you should buy, and um, don't buy them. Well, yeah, don't buy them. Number one thing, like the only book you'll need is um, like. What, sh what should you buy? Well, don't just, do what I did. Just download. Mm -hmm. Oh no, actually there's useful websites, like, there's loads of random medical websites you can use, mm -hmm. which are really useful, but you've got to know which ones they are, because there's a lot of crap on the internet about medicine. Like, Don't use Wikipedia, that's the one thing that you'll learn, whenever you do PBL assignments, essays, if you have Wikipedia in your reference, you automatically get docked a lot of, a lot mm -hmm. of marks, just because Wikipedia... Too easy? No, uh, it's, no, it's, no, it's actually, it's, like, it's it depends. Rubbish. Like, Factually incorrect. If you go to something like embryology or Wikipedia, mm -hmm. you're going to get random sentences which just feel like they're just put in by like yeah. some Anybody. activists. Right. Medicine, so, medical students. Yeah, but yeah. it's like a lot of it's just like, well, crap, basically. Right. There, there, is, used there, is one, okay, there is one core textbook which your uni will use, Kumar normally Kumar. Gray's Anatomy or uh -huh. Kumar and Clark. Yeah, um, yeah Kumar and Clark's the main one. It's called so Bible. basically by that, they will say it will help if you have all these books. Yeah, it will help you if you want to get 100%. Which I'm saying you should get 100%, but don't be disappointed if you don't. But don't buy them because more often than not, they will be 70, 80 pounds per book. And if there's 10 books, you're, you're going to buy it, you're not going to use it. The yeah. library will have it. Um, Having said that, don't, don't take out a book during exam time because you will not find a book. Yeah. Like everyone goes to the library during like, the exam period. And takes I'm not joking, time. at some med schools, um, one person takes out three copies of the book just so that some people can't have the book because they want to, it's that competitive. So, That's yeah, nice. yeah, you buy the book if, if, if it will help you, but more often than not, you just get everything from lecture notes and PDLs, right? You, you don't really use the book. Okay. Definitely. Like, I managed to pass just on lecture notes. Yeah. And yeah, okay. Mark Clark. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, Keep your head down. Oh, also, oh, also. Um, Keep your head down. Like, if you're finding you're not enjoying chemistry or not enjoying biology, that's basically medicine. So don't, no, don't run into it thinking like it's going to be completely up. different. No, right? I disagree. If you don't enjoy chemistry, that's fine. Because we didn't have the best time either. But um, no, there's, sure there's, not, there's not that much chemistry in medicine, to be honest. It was as much as it was in here. No, but no more. There's biology just carries on. Like. Yeah, there's a lot of biology. The chemistry is probably your initial modules that you're learning about nucleic acids, DNA. Right. Like you won't go basic biochemistry. Yeah, it's it's yeah it's